Yeah, let's go! Hello everyone, I am Maester Mike and I am back for more Warrior Land Shake It. In the last episode, we simply beat the first two levels of Jiggle Jungle, which is still a funny name if you ask me. And in this episode, we're just going to simply go on to finish the next two levels of Jiggle Jungle. Still a funny name. By the way, you may notice in the t right next to my health, if you remember that I bought a... I bought a, one of those recovery potions a few episodes ago, and now I lost it. That's because when I was trying to get through this level after trying to get the last treasure to show you how to get that one, I lost all my health because I wanted to see how wrecked up m the sub warring will get after you let it get wrecked up too much. And funny enough, it gets really wrecked up once you get down to like one heart. And I just lost all my health because I wanted to, so I'm out of a recovery potion. In case you forgot how those are used, you only will use those once you lose your all your health, and you'll just recover your health all the way back. So it's very simple. So now let's go on to Airy Tail Castle. Here are our missions. We have to finish before the clock hits 2 minutes 50, beat the stage without taking damage, collect 55,000 coins, defeat the golden enemy, and don't break any rocket buckets. Those are very similar to the unit buckets we saw several episodes ago back in World 1, in fact. So they're pretty similar in concept to... Well, I'll show you once we get to them. And this is one of my favorite levels in the whole game. Why? You'll see. Let's go there, and I'll be silent for a few seconds so that you can listen to the music. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. That's enough time, I'm quiet. So, as you can see, we're in a castle in the sky. I really need to make time to see that movie. And great, my video is dropping frames. Oh, I think it's fine now. I really hate when my computer drops frames. So yeah, we're in a castle in the sky. Kind of got... I don't know if it's just me, but I think this has kind of... A bit Greek architecture, and I like that. The reason I was saying quiet was because the music is just so atmospheric and just... Very great in setting the mood. I love it. It's a very visually pleasing level. As, this should, as you can tell, this is one of my favorites. I think I want you. Uh, yeah, I think I want you to be on that treadmill. I'm kind of remembering what I have to do. So to get to this switch, we have to take the remote, change the pattern of this treadmill, and hopefully that bandanero will come along this way. Yes, he'll come. Yeah, I need to bring him over here because I want this bag of money. Uh, no, no, Wario, seriously, I do not mean to press up. Okay, good, still on the ground. You know, I've got him. I've got something to say. I say, you know, I like the music in this game, and I've got a bit of a bone to pick with the old magazine Nintendo Power. Not, I don't know why I have to say old, the old magazine. You should be very familiar if you with the magazine, if, even if you never subscribe to it. Uh, going off topic, here's a rocket bucket. Remember, this is, just like the Unibucket, if you press this button again when there's a you know, when there's a rocket bucket already on screen, then that will break the currently on screen rocket bucket, so that will fail the mission. So, you get in by going, pressing down. So here's what you do. This is a rocket bucket. You press the 2 button to, it, to make yourself go forward, and you tilt the remote to to aim your trajectory of the rocket bucket. So, it's pretty simple to use. Just do it like this. So anyway, the thing I was trying to say was, I have a bone to pick with Nintendo Power in the review of this issue. They had a good review, but... Well, I shouldn't be one to nitpick against, nitpick against people's critiques against games, because we all can like and dislike different things, but... Well, I just got a little bit of a problem to say with their with the review. I have the magazine currently with me. Hold on a sec. I have the magazine in which they reviewed this game, and I don't like what they said against the music in this. They, 
I like the music in this game, and they can dislike it for all I care in. I just don't get what their problem was. They said, here's what they said in the review. By the way, here's our first treasure. It's Cupid's Bow. I told you we'd get this kind of thing earlier on. All right, here's what the review says about the music. Uh, they say that... Here's their exact words. We did loathe much of the game's music, however, which includes tracks that range from the mediocre to the gratingly awful. Many tunes seem to have been written with no thought toward the theme of the levels they're played on. Some of the worst songs come early on, however, at so the music... Pick it up and play. What are you doing, Wario? That was weird. <laughs> I heard him make a sound, and I just had to stop my re reading of the review. They said, The worst songs come early on, however, so the music becomes more tolerable after the initial areas. Yeah, yeah they can have opinions all they like, but... I don't get what... I don't get what's their... What's their beef against some of the music in this stage. I mean, in this game. I mean, this level has really great music. Just so atmospheric and so great in setting the mood, and my stupid computer setting dropping frames again. I need a better computer. See, so yeah, I don't really. I don't like that section of the review. The music in this game is great, and I shouldn't be, be bashing their opinions. They can. Again, they can like and dislike whatever. But I just think their opinion were pretty bad. Simple as that. I think I want to keep this pitchfork guy. So let's not accidentally jump into the spikes, which was what I was about to do. Let's set him down here because... No, wait. Okay, I was supposed to be down below. Like this. And I set him up here, and I bounce off him, and then get this diamond. Really simple to get. And I think I want to kill him because he'll probably get in my way. So let's move on. Get out of here, Bandanero. You know, since I said earlier that my computer was dropping frames while recording this, I apologize if that ever comes out. That's very noticeable. Hope it doesn't come out too noticeable. But it probably will, so please apologize. It's just my stupid old computer. You know, something I, s I never perfectly expa explained in the last episode was... Well, I said that my that my microphone was working badly. That that I thought it, that I got a new microphone, and I thought that one that I got would give me a better sounding quality with my audio, but it didn't. I'm using my original headset, so yeah, that other headset that I got was that other headset that I got was uh, gave some weird feedback issues, and I don't get that. Anyway, let's just move on. And by the way, one thing I need to point out, after playing this game in, t in almost its entirety in, in the practice, in my practice file, I have figured out where pretty much every single one of the of the secret maps are. But I won't get those because those are, I'm pretty sure this game encourages, encourages you to get those after you beat the game, so I'll hold off that. There's a secret map in this level, and I'll only show that off once we beat this game. By the way, whenever you're... Whenever you get into a rocket bucket, these big spike balls will usually show up, so you have to have a lot of good maneuvering skills to avoid them. Just touch it once, and, it's, and it breaks, and you fail the mission. And you'll be sad, and you'll cry. Hopefully you're not that immature. Whoa, whoa, watch out, Wario, don't hit the spike balls! Don't hit it, don't hit it. Okay, good. We're safe. It was about to... Alright, we got a Rainbow Toucan! Probably would have made it probably another Attacking Toucans reference. By the way, for the secret treasure map, I'll at least tell you, it's right down there! I'll, pa I'll go back and pause the video so that you can actually see where it was located. Let's just go on these elevators. really quiet music, but it's, again, really great at setting the mood. I like the... I don't know if I said it right. I think this is Greek architecture, or pseudo-Greek architecture, because of course this is all fake and not made by the Greeks. But I wonder, is it supposed to be inspired by that? Because it kind of looks like it does. If that's the case, then I like it. Whoa! Turkey jerk. No, you made me fall off the platform. You evil bird, you. 
Don't get me. Jump. You're an evil bird. Uh oh. That guy's trying to trip me up too. I want to kill you because you would mess me up as well. Die. I'm just so mean to all the enemies in the world. Of course I should be, because they're enemies, and enemies are evil. We have to be bad to enemies. That's not a very good thing to say. As me being a Christian, I should be friendly to our enemies to actually... Because we can't, shouldn't repay evil for evil, that's just bad. And not helpful in the slightest. Get the coins. You know, since I'm a Christian, I probably shouldn't also be so money-grubbing in this game. But that's pretty much the point of the game. You have to be money-grubbing with this game because you have to actually try to get all the missions done. I kind of don't remember how to do this exactly. I think I have to... Here's how you have to get the treasure down here. Okay, I have two treasures. First, let's get this guy out of the way. We'll need this block. Let's break that. I could go down, land on that treadmill, and then change the direction, and it goes down. If you didn't go down, if you didn't let it go down, then you'd make that block land in the wrong place. We get Flying Slipper. Although, you don't really need that block to get that treasure. You can just simply just crawl jump and not jump to the other side. You crawl jump, jump down, jump down, and you... If you jump correctly, you can actually land in that plat land in that little gap without that block. So you just need to have your own... just need to be good at platforming to make that... That pitchfork is evil. He wants to trip me up. He'll just lie and wait for me. Why is he so mean? The golden enemy is right there. You, pitchfork, stick on that wall. No, 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 no. Please don't fall. I have to jump on you. Go, yeah, got it. Oh no, I lost a coin. There we go. It's funny whenever you throw them up at the sky because you can never be sure when they'll break. Oh, great. More frame drops. Once again, I apologize if the quality of this video comes out poorly. <sighs> I just wish I had a better computer. Anyway, let's drop down here. I think I have to do a Mega Crown Pound. I don't have to do a Mega Ground Pound. So... That's a really close jump because it looks like you might accidentally hit that hit that part of the ceiling and fail with your super speed. All right, we got 50, 55,000 coins. I'm really uh, there. We go. I messed that up. Let me try that again because I I should have seen that coming. I want to try to get as many of the missions in this level as I can. All right, Murphle, come back to me. I want you. I want you to help me out. How do you break a cage by just shaking it? I really did not need to do that Mega Ground Pound again. I forgot. I must have short-term memory. I kind of do, in fact. Feels feels kind of bad to have that, but oh well. What are you gonna do? All right, this time we're gonna have to jump over this. Hit like this. Ooh, that was really close. Come on, Wario, go. There's not really a whole, not really much I can say when running. Just have to go. We gotta go fast. Cause we're Sonic. We're as fast as Sonic. Wait, what's the time we have to get to? We can get them all. Yeah, we completely 100% at this level in our first try. And now you can too, by watching my videos. Shameless plug, I don't care. Nice record. Got 60,000 coins. And it's completely finished. Pretty much nothing to say right now. So now we're on our last level, Soggy Bog River. This one could be tough. In this level, we once again have to be the stage without falling into the water, which I'm gonna not do that because there are some treasures in this level that require us to fall in the water. So, I'm not gonna do that this time. We'll see how we'll do about not taking damage. We'll collect 55,000 coins. I'm really stuttery again. 
will defeat the golden enemy and will finish before the clock hits 1 minute 45. Uh, don't exit that, I want to go into the level. We'll see how well we do with this. Hope I can do well. <clears throat> Sorry for my silence. Ooh, we're now in a very rainy part of the swamp. It's all gray and murky and gross. I don't like gray, murky grossness. It's really oddly worded. Just jump onto this into this pipe. Oh wait, hold on. I wanna retry this. <clears throat> does this music make you think of anything? I forgot to say this. What does this music think make you think of at first? I'll be silent here. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> dun dun dun! The eye of the tiger. Does that make anyone think of eye of the tiger? It makes me think of it. Whoa! Remember how I said earlier that we can use turkey jerks? Well, you should have seen exactly how we can use turkey jerks to bash through all enemies in their path. Well, we use we shake this turkey dirt, make him lose all his feathers, or her whatever. We'll break through all those blocks, giving us a free diamond. A on that's not an onion, that's a garlic. Thank you for coming to me, garlic. So nice. Garlic is nice. I think there's something over this way. Yes there is. There's a money bag. Be sure not to miss that. I bet you might if you are playing this for the your first time. So just know that this is here. These ropes are specific. Blah, 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 blah. As you can tell, those ropes are specifically designed to make you fall in the water. So be careful. By the way, down here is a treasure, and if you want to not fall in the water, get out of here, Bandit Arrow. If you want to do the mission where you have to beat the stage without falling into the water, then skip this part of the section, part of the level. If you want the treasure, then then just do it regardless. So, we'll just not get eaten by that Venus guy trap, and we'll jump down here and fall in the water, failing our mission of not falling in the water. Ouch. It's so rainy here, I don't like this whole weather. So what we have to do, we have to jump into this dasherator. But, let me to show you something. If you try turning on the water, you'll just fall in the water. So what you have to do is you have to turn right before you fall off that platform, which we'll do in a few seconds. Just wait for me to climb back up this ladder. And we'll do it perfectly right now. Fall off, and then... There you go. You got Amber Ring. It's like a... It's a bug trapped in Amber. It's pretty much saying that that's a bug with like a fossil life in, in Amber. Yeah. I really hate how stuttery I get. But watch out for that red turkey jerk. Ooh, and a red boom de arrow too. I want you to break off your armor in the water. Poor guy. Yeah, I really hate how stuttery I get. Can you... Do you people put up with me, or do you find my stuttering annoying? If you do, well then... Please don't be insulting about it. Please just... Please just be kind about any critiques that get my stuttering, because I know I suffer from this. I don't want anything mean told about me. And I missed that coin, though. Bottle of toad oil. Yeah, that counted as a dough I missed. So did that. Hope I can make that counter go up pretty high, because because I'm kind of underutilizing it in my in reality. Oh well. Nothing bad about that. Can I get this coin now? Yeah, I got it. And will it go back if I stay off of it? Oh no, wait, I... I know what I have to do. I'm supposed to not go in that dasherator. Be careful of those Venus sky traps. They are evil. What I have to do this time is just swing on it regularly. Regularly. I can say words correctly. I don't stutter. And what made you think I could stutter? I I don't stutter. What made you think that? You people should be ashamed of yourself. We there are people in the world that have that have very big speech issues. That have big speech impediment issues. I'm really not 
trying to make a joke very well. Uh, you know, I'm gonna screw it. I'm just gonna show you where a secret map is located. Right here. Yeah, after you beat the game, it will show you how you can find secret maps. I probably shouldn't have gotten that because I want to do the secret level after I beat the game. Didn't think I was gonna make that. But I did. Some of this stuff is gonna be a bit tricksy. Watch out! I like what they look like when you hold them. I just like the designs of the enemies in this game. The only thing I don't really like for design is the... Uh, what's it? The Bumble Prod. I really don't... not fond of the Bumble Prods. They don't look that appealing to me. Bet some of you might find them cute, but I personally don't. Just my personal taste. Or mole, more gold coins. Mole gold coins. What is a mole gold coin like? There's a tricky treasure around here. And an evil turkey jerk that's trying to drop a rock on me. Oh. That was really close. I almost got eaten. Hey, turkey jerk. Can you please? Oh. Right, thank you. Drop that on me. Now will you dive bomb? Sorry for flattening you. Ugh. I almost got eaten again. That is so cruel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, crap. I really... That was a mistake. It's a mistake. Don't really know much more about that song. So here's how we have to get this... No, wait, that's a diamond up there. That's not a treasure. What we have to do, dive in here. We turn around quickly. Try not to get eaten. And then do that. Just watch my video and you'll be fine. I don't think... Yeah, you can't use that... That Dasherator that you found in this previous room. Let me show you why you can't make that jump with the Dasherator. At least I don't think you can. Let's try it. I think I about... Oh, I can! Please disregard everything I just said up to that point. So now we got the... We got 55 coins. 55,000 coins, 55. We are so not money grubbing in this level. Here are some rapids. You'll find this later in a secret level, which will be the... I don't know if it's the level we unlocked with that secret map I just got, but... These rapids, they'll always be pushing like to the left. And these logs will be here to give you a good platform to move forward. So yeah, just... Uh, I kind of lost what I was saying. Use those logs to make move on your way. Here's our golden enemy right there. Can I get your coins? I don't really need your coins, but I want them anyway. Sorry, man. And I lost another coin. No. If I gotten the other coin, then I would have had an even 60,000. But whatever. So we need to take this to go forward. Did I really need to make that jump? Oh, I think that's actually for, for the escape. So, whatever. Let's just get these coin bags. I don't know why... I don't know why I'm still looking for coins, even though I already got the coin reward. But here's a bit of a trick and a trap. These guys are all waiting for you. And I don't know why I'm concerned about my health, even though I already failed that mission. Break all these boxes, so that... Yeah, just break the boxes. Shouldn't have to spoon feed you the answers all the time. Let's go, Morphal. We have to get all the money. Wah ha ha ha. I'm really not sure when when will be the best time. Crap. Let me try that again. I'm not sure when the best time will be for me to show off what it's like when you die. Uh, probably maybe after the game is. Finished. Can I break you with by throwing another enemy at you? I did! I can break you! That wasn't worded very well. But you should expect that from me. I am not very grammatically correct. Get out of your cage, or I will shake you down, Murphle. I'll shake you down for all your poorly CG badness. By the way, if you notice, when we're running on the on that rapid, 
then that will make us go faster. And if we're running the opposite way, then that will make us go slower. Just something you should notice. Good thing I didn't get eaten. Get out of my way, uh, you Scaracudas. I forgot your names. Oh, I almost didn't make that. We're gonna make this. We're, we'll be fine. Oh. Yeah. We did it. I wish I didn't get hurt, but what can you do? <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah, that was a good run. We got all the treasures, we got a few missions, and we got the secret map. I could... Wait, didn't get the... What did I miss? Oops. I missed something. Doe. What did I miss? I can't remember what treasure I missed. I did that- I got that on practice. Oh well. Whatever. I'll figure that out some other time. Ooh, and there's our secret level. This will give us Riverboat Rapids. Yeah, this, this is the level that that deals more with the rapids. So we got two levels done. That was a good- that was a good run. So, in the next episode, as you can tell, we've got the boss. I won't take on these secret levels yet. I'll do that some other time. So, in the meantime, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.